forecasting technology from Channel 5's team of professional meteorologists. The Guardian, only on Channel 5. Weather School, only on the Channel 5 News 5 o'clock report. The United Way, rocked by scandal. Now it says the excesses and misuse of funds were even worse than first thought. After weeks of investigation, the nation's biggest charity says it has found the problem. One man, the man who made the United Way a success. Instead of leaving behind a legacy of important and lasting contributions to social service, he left behind a national problem. The man who headed the United Way for more than two decades, its former president, William Aramone, answers the charges tonight. This is ABC News Nightline, reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. In the days of the Old Testament, the Levites, the priests of ancient Israel, would take a goat on the Day of Atonement, symbolically load it down with the sins of the community, and drive that goat into the desert. Good for the community, tough for the goat. That, in fact, is where we got the term scapegoat. Keep the term in mind. And then listen to what the current president of the United Way of America said today about the former president of the United Way of America. The United Way of America was run almost single-handedly by William Aramone for many years. There's no question that he should be given full credit for expanding and organizing the United Way system to the point where it became one of the most successful and most respected charitable systems in the United States. Now, if William Aramone, the man about whom all those wonderful things were said today, deserves all that credit, if he is the man, again, according to his successor, who ran United Way almost single-handedly, guess who deserves all the blame for everything that's gone wrong? Symbolically, at least, William Aramone today was driven into the desert. Here's more from Dave Marish. We are an independent organization. That's the first thing representatives of local United Way organizations want to tell you. We are not directly related to United Way of America. Our only financial connection to the National Trade Organization is the dues we pay, says Los Angeles United Way President Herb and Carter. You know, and he adds, We suspended payment of those dues uh, uh, two months ago. The reason for the suspension and for all those declarations of independence is this, the scandal that first made headlines in late February. The president of the nation's largest charity has resigned. William Aramone resigned as the leader of the National United Way campaign amid questions and many complaints from local chapters about his alleged free-spending ways. Aramone spent United Way of America's money on lavish travel and expenses and to pay himself $463,000 a year in salary and benefits. The day he quit, he offered this limited apology. I do apologize for any problems that my lack of sensitivity to perceptions has caused this movement. But he insisted. I would never do anything at all that would hurt the local United Ways, the mission of the people we serve. Today at a Washington news conference, Aramone's fill-in successor, Kenneth Dam, said Aramone had hurt both the local and national United Ways, detailing the results of what he described as a nine-week investigation into, quote, a story of excess and values lost. These conclusions are disturbing, and they'll certainly outrage people who have given their hard-earned money week by week to help the United Way help those in need. Uh, they will and should feel betrayed. Today's report accuses Aramone of questionable motives in setting up spin-off organizations, filling them with friends and relatives, and using them to siphon off income that should have flowed directly to United Way. They were situations in which people who were friends of William Aramone retired from the United Way of America, and then were put on as consultants. And uh, the question is, was that a real relationship? Was there a real consultation going on? Or, and if, if so, was it just a way to pay twice? Or was, uh, was it a legitimate uh, transaction? The report says Aramone spent more than $92,000 on limousines, $40,000 flying on the Concord, $38,000 on various trips to Las Vegas, and $33,000 flying to and from Gainesville, Florida, often with unnamed non-business companions. And the report says he, quote, 
used United Way assets to support personal relationships. In some cases, there, there were no documents that reflected uh, what actually happened. There was a bill, let's say, on an American Express account, but nobody knew the purpose of the trip. You may wait, Melfi. Before the answers are in, some local United Way organizations are suspending their ties to the National Trade Organization. And, as in the Washington, D.C. area, going public with the suspension. But rather than sit back and wait for the damage to occur, we felt the community had to come first. Interestingly enough, Bert Fisher says so far at least, his local contributions show no impact from the Aramoni scandal. However, until we get to the last part of the contributions coming in from the employee campaigns where we can measure the shrinkage from what was pledged to what is actually corrected, that's when we'll have the full handle on it. At United Way of America, though, they are feeling the pinch as local organizations withhold their dues payments. That, but to give you an example from the month of March, we normally get a dues of about $2 million a month. In March, we got 400000 If the situation doesn't turn around, Dam says, the national organization may not survive. Well, I think that there is a, a serious question about that. We're obviously borrowing money right now to meet payrolls. And United Way of America may also have to borrow to cover William Aramone's pension. He says he's owed $4.4 million. Dam says he thinks that estimate is way too high, and it looks like it may take lawsuits to settle how much, if anything, Aramone is owed by the organization he built and may have helped to bury. Meanwhile, some are worried the Aramone scandal may undermine not just United Way, but all American giving. In our research that we've done uh, you know, for our newspaper, uh, we talked to uh, a couple of hundred charity officials around the country about how they see the impact of this, and all of them uh, are worried. The whole charitable sector, the whole, all of philanthropy is touched by this and affected by this and these violations of the public trust, and that's sad. Although the United Way's investigators report focuses all the blame on William Aramone, he may not be the only culprit here. Sources inside the organization say the United Way of America board ignored several whistleblowers' reports on Aramone. And the organization's prestigious auditor, Arthur Anderson Company, still hasn't explained how it witnessed Aramone's expansive lifestyle and the creation of several incestuous spin-off companies and never even asked if any of this might be wrong. I'm Dave Marish for Nightline in Washington. In a moment, I'll be joined live by former United Way of America President, William Aramone. This is ABC News Nightline, brought to you by AT&T. What entrepreneurs do is they find an idea and then they risk everything every day. We design contemporary fashions from traditional African fabrics. We're based in Oakland, but we do a lot of business with L.A. and Seattle. What I recommended for her was the AT&T Small Business Option Area Code Plan, which gives them an automatic 10% discount for one or two area codes that they call most. Every customer has a goal. What we want to do is help them to achieve that goal. We can make a difference. AT&T, call us. This is regular. This is better. This Bayer is regular. For headaches, Anison is better. Why better? Regular Bayer has one ingredient. Anison has two. A pain medicine plus a second ingredient that makes it work better. Get Anison. Get better. Right now, save 25% on Goodyear Eagle ST and Goodyear Invicta GL. That's right, 25% on two of our best-selling all-season radials. It's another reason we say the best tires in the world and in your neighborhood have Goodyear written all over them. Iowa. There's only one way to discover America and its grandeur, up close in a recreational vehicle. Queens Trailer Ranch is one of Iowa's largest RV dealers. You'll find top names like Coleman, High Low, and Imperial. Hundreds of new and used RVs to select from. Queens also has thousands of parts and accessories on display. Now is the best time to join the free and easy RV lifestyle. Visit Queens for their 35th anniversary sale and open house April 3rd through the 18th. I'm David Brinkley. On Sunday before the New York primary, three observers asking what kind of election is this? Jesse Jackson, Ed Koch, and Paul Sunders. Lively. 
William Aramoni has not given an interview since he was forced to resign on February 27th. Mr. Aramoni is credited even by his critics with building up the United Way, but now he is being portrayed as the culprit for the charity's recent coat of tarnish. He joins us here in our Washington bureau. Uh, I suggested at the top of this broadcast, Mr. Aramoni, that the United Way of America would probably like you to go quietly into the desert and carry all the sins of the organization with you. Are you going to go quietly? I'm going to go... I, I took on this interview, and I thank you for the opportunity, Ted, of being here. It's the first, as you said, uh, conversation I've had publicly. Uh, I was under a gag order, which I concurred with uh, early on. Who's, who's gag order? It was uh, uh, Mr. Akers of IBM, chairman of the then chairman of the United Way of America suggested that it would be best if I didn't do public interviews to defend myself at the time because it might hurt local United Ways, and I concurred with him. He's still chairman of the board, right? No, he, 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 as he of yesterday, down? he's out. Uh, W.R. Hall of J.C. Penney is now the chairman. A uh, very good man. In, in any case, uh, it, I agreed with that because I thought it might be hurtful local United Ways. My interest was to protect local United Ways. I still care about the system I spent 38 years with. And, uh, but the recent uh, effort to make me a scapegoat I think you term it correctly, uh, is encouraged me to step forward and try to get the record straight as the best I can. When I hear what you had this broadcast earlier in the opening, I find it very, very disturbing. Uh, and it's, what, it's a repetition of what other people are saying, and I, and I understand It's how, not just what other people are saying. It's taken straight out of the report. I, right. And, and, and I have not read that report. You had that report many hours before I got it. I had repeatedly asked for the opportunity to review the material to answer questions, to put decisions made in the context of the reasons for those activities. All was rejected repeatedly through my counsel. Uh, Tom Boggs asked over and over for that opportunity, turned down. Uh, and I wrote to Mr. Akers directly, pleaded with him to give me a chance to answer the questions. It's, they're fair questions. Let me answer them. You know? All right, let's, let, let's start taking some of the easy ones. And when I say easy, please, they're simple. Okay. Right? Uh, $92,000 in limo fees over a period of four years. Okay. Uh, I'd like to, if you don't mind, might just turn this around a little bit and you can come back to that. I want to talk about the compensation issue because underneath all of this is the question of what I should be paid or not paid or a person in that position be paid or not paid. And then take on all the other things, if you don't mind, uh, that go with it, the, the expenditures and all the other things which we can, we can answer one at a time and be happy to do that. So. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have endless time here. Okay. And, and what I would like to do is okay. just get to them quickly. If you want, is, is, is the... Uh, the compensation issue is the gut issue. The essence of what you're saying is you weren't paid all that much to begin with, so some of these other things really were your due no, or what? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the issue of, of, of the amount of money was what people had public outrage about. In addition, they had public outrage about the things you, you're, you're going to list here. And, and in terms of, uh, did, did I use a limo? No. I, used, uh, I hired cars for service as you would at any airport. You know, they were not limousines. Yet, and, 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 and every one of these areas, I can give you the specific question. Well, I mean, answer. they weren't checkered cabs, right? Uh, Absolutely if, not. If, if, it there, would there be were drivers right. for a standard sedan to take me to, to meetings or to places. Uh, again, we can okay, do, the, please, we can do, do, we can do the division over a four-year period, and maybe it only works out. In fact, I did the division roughly. It might work out to three hundred, three or $400 a week in limos at 52 weeks a year. I mean, that's constantly every week. Correct, correct. Again, you've got to look at my, how I did my business, all right? right? The biggest insult that was paid me by the Washington Post, they thought, was I managed United Way of America as, uh, as someone would a, fi a Fortune 500 company. And I did. You, you, you make a good point, and uh, this, in a sense, is at the root of everything that I think disturbs people. And they say, Bill Aramone, you want to be a big shot in Fortune 500, you want to go make a million dollar salary or a half million dollar salary, you want to ride around in a limousine, you want to have private jets at your disposal, you want to take the Concorde, all of that is fine, you're a smart guy, you obviously could have made it. You chose not to. You chose to engage in a life that has at least the appearance of being a life of some service. And then when people find out that, well, yes, service, what the guy was really doing was taking a fat salary and the limos and the first class Wait, airfare. Uh, 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 let me cut into you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fact is, my life was a life of service. For 38 years, a life of service. To say to me, 
that my taking renting cars to travel or flying first class on occasion even with, with frequent flyer credits it may be something other than that is not true i'm still a social worker have been and still am no 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 the social worker if you'll forgive my interruption yeah. the social worker is the person who lives minimally who takes as little but that's your definition no no well yeah it's my definition and and with respect sure. i suggest that a great many other people would take the position that the money that comes to the united way of america is money that some people scrape out of their pockets at some personal sure. sacrifice absolutely with the thought that most of that money all of that money as much of that money as possible is going to end up in the hands of needy people and it did and therefore they say and it did every time that bill aramony takes a limo rather than a cab every time that bill aramony flies first class rather than tourist class every time that he takes the conqueror that's money that's being okay, taken th out of the pockets the of, I heard of the other case. people let okay. me let me give you an answer sure. now, if i may uh, what we're dealing with here is uh, a, clearly a perception problem as well as all the rest of it. The fact is that if you, wh what you're saying is that to manage a complex enterprise like the United Way, uh, many constituencies, corporations, heads, labor heads, government, local United Ways, the agencies, the people who need help, that's what we're in business for. It's a very complex system. And to think that, that the time, my time, or anybody, forget me, I'm out of it. Anybody in that job, their time, isn't worth, when you get back-to-back -back appointments, you think you're gonna stand on the street of New York and hail a cab and okay. wait for the next appointment? Fair enough. I'm gonna take it one step further when we come back, sure. and that is get into the issue of some of the trips you made that don't seem to have had any connection at all with the United Way of America. We'll continue our discussion in a moment. Red marks. These old glasses do nothing but pinch. They're a pain. You don't have to put up with glasses that don't fit anymore. Now Lens Crafters brings you better fit for greater comfort. Lens Crafters glasses fit your snug points with features like new self-adjusting snug fit pads that flex to gently and securely hug your nose. No more pinching. I never knew glasses could be this comfortable. Lens Crafters. Better fit for greater comfort. In about an hour. Right now, IBM is going beyond conventional computing by pioneering a way to touch millions of lives. Raise, blow, you catter. They love the hands-on stuff. Information becomes something with an imagination. IBM Multimedia. You can touch so many emotions with pictures and colors and sounds. It's really wonderfully exciting. Alexander's Photo Center is more than just a camera store. Of course, we have new and pre-owned camera equipment, film, photo finishing and accessories, camera repairs, passports, and friendly help. But also, you'll find darkroom accessories and supplies, the best custom black and white lab in town, professional commercial photography in studio or on location, plus rental equipment, rental darkroom, and studio for amateurs or pros. Come in and let us help you at Alexander's Photo Center and Commercial Photography, where we offer you more. People who read news watch ABC News. The Washington Journalism Review 1992 Reader's Poll voted ABC News the best in the business. Peter Jennings, Nightline with Ted Koppel, Jeff Greenfield, Britt Hume. When news matters, it matters where you get your news. ABC News. We're back with the former United Way of America President, William Aramone. Uh, I promise you we'll get to some of the issues you and I were talking about during the break, but let me start with a tough one. You made $35,000 worth of trips, according to that nine-week uh, study report that they made, to Gainesville, Florida. Their conclusion is, tomorrow morning's Washington Post says you went down there, in effect, I'll put it very bluntly, to visit a girlfriend. It's none of my business. I don't care. That's between you and your wife, your former wife. What you do on your own time is your own business. But if you use $35,000 worth of United Way of America funds to do it, it becomes the public's business. It's absolutely not true. I paid for every trip, to my knowledge, 
I paid for every trip I made out of my own money. The report says you didn't. The report I'm, says I'm the report says you spent six thousand dollars to, to take the same young the lady to wrong. Egypt, and that two years later, after considerable dunning, you finally paid that six thousand dollars. Not off. true. I paid every cent of that trip out of my own pay. The six thousand that was that you're talking about is a different item. It had to do with my travel. The Egyptians came to this country at the State Department's request, or some, I believe it was the State Department, AID, that I met with them. I speak a little bit of Arabic. I, I talked to, met with the leadership from the Egyptian delegation, talked about the United Way concept, met with them in Cairo. It's my trip to Cairo you're talking about. They came back and I met with them again in Washington. That, the, that what you're saying is not true. What, I'm, you, saying, what I'm saying is... Your report you, what I'm, is not correct. What I'm saying is that the report says you took a young woman along on that trip that you build United Way of America for it, and that eventually, after two years of dunning you, you reimburse them. Ted, would you hear me again? Sure. It's absolutely not true. It's a lie. Absolute, unequivocal lie. What they're doing is, is opening themselves up for a lawsuit. But this is a defamation of well, my name. Inevitably, yeah. you, and these, you and these folks are headed to court because you claim that United Way of America still owes you $4.4 .4 million in a variety of pension benefits. Correct? Some of which are my own savings. You expect to get that money? Absolutely. All of it? Absolutely. They say you're not going to. That's what they say at this time. So, am I correct in assuming that this thing is going to end up in court? I don't know that. It all depends on the attitude, whether they're willing to work on the... On the new, I've offered a negotiated settlement. You heard the attitude today. The attitude is Bill Aramone is the guy who created all of our problems. Once we got rid of him, all the problems go away. And now, please, folks, believe us, we're clean again. And what do you say to that? I say it's hypocritical. I said it's not, I mean, the, if the facts, I have read that report, so we just got it late this afternoon, Tom Box did. And so I had a chance to read it. But what you're saying to me, what they said in that report, what you, those items are absolutely untrue. They're absolutely a lie. Not correct. You didn't buy. I have proof you didn't of what buy, I paid. You didn't buy condominiums in Florida and New York. You're asking me a different question now. Uh, that's true, I am. Okay. I, I mean, I'm oh, going oh, through as many oh, of these oh, items right, as I can. Many, but that's let's one take, of the let, Let's take each one. Right. Okay. Uh, the charge I made a moment ago, so we don't leave it hanging, was that you took $35,000 worth of, of, of United saying, Way's money to fly to Gainesville, where there, where there was no United Way of America business. It's not true. That's the charge. And the answer is it's not true. The answer is what? I mean, what is, what is your I, response? You didn't go to Gainesville I, at all? Excuse me. I don't know about the number itself, whether it's accurate or inaccurate. The, when I made trips to Gainesville, I made it with my own money, on my own expense. Okay? Nobody else's. I would never do that. I mean, it's also insulting. I would never do that. This re if the report is what is described as you're telling me, that report is replete with lies. That's all I can tell you. And I can demonstrate that with my own American Express card returns. You know? Right. Okay, absolutely. Okay, next question. Yeah. Condo in Florida, condo in New York. Okay, let's, let's needed, look at needed for what? Okay, very simple. I spent an awful lot of time in New York. We had rented a condo in New York for over 18 years. The, the issue is where you spend high-cost New York hotel rooms or do you have a condo that you can use repeatedly. The United Way of You're America... You're saying it was cheaper? Absolutely. Same thing in Florida? The United, it was different to walk. I never used it. I, so I stayed why was in it, New York. why was it purchased? It was, it was set up as an office. It was an office condo, sir. Furnished as an office and used as an office by United Way personnel. But why would they need an office in Florida? Because it was a part, initially a part of the United Way international effort to serve Latin America and Central America. We expanded... Enormously, our international program is enormous in, in that area. There's a staff person located there. In addition, there are other program personnel activities we were developing. Oh, it's too complicated to go into here. But just know that we had program objectives that validated that activity. You understand, and, and we're down to our last couple of minutes, so I, 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 okay. I want to bring it around to this. You understand there is a suggestion of illegality. Obviously, they'll either prove that or they won't prove that. But there is more than a suggestion there is a flat-out assertion that what Bill Aramone did was arrogant, self-serving, self-benefiting, self-profiting, and that he ran this kind of organization in a high-handed way that doesn't look right. I mean, that's the gentlest, that kindest, were, okay, most charitable way that it can be said. I appreciate you saying as nicely as you said it. It's not true. That's all I can tell you. You started this program saying they needed a scapegoat. You're looking at them, okay? That, that board was fully informed. They had Arthur Anderson Company audit reports. They had reports on the spin-offs and what they did. We produced a quarter of a billion dollars of benefit out of those spin-offs. Does anybody ever talk about that? 
Does anybody ever talk about how, uh, the effectiveness of the program? You're saying the board, headed by Mr. Akers of IBM, knew exactly what you were doing all along. I, I can't say that. This man's trying to run a big company. What I said is, they received in their board books reports on the spin-offs. Okay? They received in the every audit report, I personally checked them, list the affiliate organizations and every transaction undertaken between United of America and those affiliates. And every one of those transactions were legitimate, sir. We've got about 15 seconds left. If, as you see, as we've enunciated some of these charges today, you claim great outrage, are you going to sue if it's stated that way in the report? Absolutely. And, and it is. Uh, my lawyers, Tom Boggs and company, are looking at that right now. We believe we've got a strong case for defamation. Clearly defamation. They, they denied me the right of due process. They never gave me the fundamental right to review the material before they printed it, to ask me to, to answer it. All right, Mr. Aramoni, I thank you for coming. It was good of you to be here. I'll be back in a moment. It's Sears Day. Until Saturday, if it's not on sale, you can make your own sale on thousands of great items. Just use the Sears bucks in Thursday's paper and get from two to $100 off any regular price merchandise. So hurry to Sears Day now. Forget about one size fits all as a marketing strategy. Today you have to make each customer feel unique. At ACMT we have a range of calling plans that match the way small companies do business. In 1978, I created my first racing wheelchair. Today, I make it for people all over the world. Probably 99% of my business is done long distance. AT&T created ProWatts for businesses that depend on long distance. The more you call, the higher the discount. We're based in Oakland, but we do a lot of business with L.A. and Seattle. at and small business option area code plan gives an automatic 10% discount on the one or two area codes that call most. We sell toys from all over the world. We call Russia, Hungary, China. We're working now out of three locations just to fill the demand. For small businesses that have grown to more than one location, our custom that plan combines their long distance bills for the maximum possible discount. Rule number one is know the customer, and I would say rule number two is know the customer as well. We can make a difference. AT&T. Call us. This is regular. This is better. This Bayer is regular. For headaches, Anison is better. Why better? Regular Bayer has one ingredient. Anison has two. A pain medicine plus a second ingredient that makes it work better. Get Anison. Get better. It doesn't look like a weapon. But now, some criminals are earning more with a pen than with a gun. Counterfeit scams are turning into a million-dollar-a-year business in our state. It involves stolen checks, phony payroll sheets, and fake IDs. Starting Monday at 10, Julie Kraft begins an exclusive investigation into this rising type of crime. It's a case of forgery and deception. Cashing in, starting Monday at 10, only on Channel 5 News. Sunday on This Week with David Brinkley, the unpredictable New York primary with guests Paul Songus and Jesse Jackson. That's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. If you wish a video cassette version of Nightline, the cost is $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping and handling. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Sunday, it's madness as America's Funniest Hour goes face first into fun. So make your vow to watch America's Funniest Home Videos, then comedy professionals, Hello. in particularly perplexing performances. What's your favorite color? I don't know. A special America's Funniest People Sunday. Clear overnight with a low in the 30s. Oh, <laughs> oh,